Hey y'all, it's Ann Nova Kadri. Um, about two to four weeks ago, I cut ties with the How the Anime. I tried to make an explanation about it, but um, TikTok um took down the video without informing me, so um, not a lot of people know what happened. So I'm gonna explain a full-length YouTube video of exactly what happened with Ohio the anime and yeah if you guys enjoy videos like this make sure to drop a like subscribe and let's get on with the video Okay, so Ohio the Anime, which is made by Lassen Wa, is apparently uh, something that got very popular uh, when I first joined in, um, I actually don't remember when it first started, but I'm assuming I joined around back in October when I got a, a message from one of their managers asking if I wanted to be a part of the anime, and... I didn't hear back from them for a while. Eventually, they got back to me, and I was in. I got my own character design and everything. I got some lines to do. I was being paid and all that. But what I didn't know is that behind the scenes, Lassen was scamming people. So, for example, um, obviously, I did know about um, the charging people and all that. But what I didn't know is that he wasn't even contacting the people who were paying for parts in the anime. Which is crazy. And um, also behind the scenes, he was using other celebrities. For example, Skitsy. He was using him to promote the entire anime. If you didn't know, Skitsy was that guy that does the Mr. Beast bit uh, with the meme and all that. Uh, so, used him... And also, may I mention that EDP was never a part of the anime. Frickin' pedophile. But, um, yeah, may I mention he was never a part of the anime. I have never in- I have never interacted with him. And I'm very glad I hadn't. The dude's a frickin' creep. But, uh, having EDP in there was, uh, like, a setup. And all that. So. And... He also, um, basically told people what to do, gave them an entire script. So, yeah, like, I had scripts, but, um, behind the scenes what he was doing was, uh, first off, his friend Shino was totally abusing his top mod power. He was give uh, he was giving random people, gang leader, he, and some gang leaders were giving random people mod rolls when they were not specified. And around mid-February-ish is when things took a dark turn. So, yeah. That morning, I got into a big argument with a member. I banned him for abusing mod and his alt. Shino unbanned him and his alt, gave them a mod roll higher than my own, so that they could ban me for doing my frickin' mod job, to be honest, and banned me for no frickin' reason. That's it. And not to mention that this was not the first time that it had happened. I had banned people for doxing me. I had banned people for trolling me, and I had banned people for calling other people slurs. I have changed nicknames, and not to mention that Hyper, one of the top mods in the server, was also changing people's names to something that had the N-word, the F-slur, or the T-slur in them, and sometimes even the R-slur, and every time I have changed their nicknames back. Honestly, it's freaking ludicrous. I don't even know who disabled, like, the auto mod in there.
But people were in there spamming the N word, and not to mention that server is full of homophobes as well. So, anyways, back to what happened on that day. I tried messaging all the mods, saying, "Hey, Shino's abusing his frickin' mod. Uh, demote him." Never happened. It was just clear that Lassen was using me for views and caught for his own anime, and I am very glad that he is falling off bad. Sometimes the biggest things are going to have the hardest fall from grace. That is exactly what's happening to Lassen. And so, may I mention that one of the members of the server who had already left told me everything that was going on. How she was being used by Lassen. How uh, he told her that she was being paid a lot of money for doing a specific part for the anime. And what happened was Lassen paid her um, a quarter of as much as he promised, blocked her, and that was it. Lassen, you're effing scamming people, bro. So, after I heard that, what I did was I cut ties with Ohio the Anime, uh, and that was it. I left. I'm still pissed off at Lassen for screwing me over like that. I guess Ohio the Anime was too good to be true. But, hey, I found a anime that I'll hopefully be working on in the future called Legends of Maito Raya. And, um, if they're, st if they're looking for V, if they announce they're looking for VAs, I will gladly apply. Because as someone who used to work for Ohio the Anime, I know how much of a scumbag Lassen is. And Lassen, if you're watching this, I've got something for you. Two middle fingers for all the people you've scammed. If I had a dollar for every time that you have used someone and scammed someone, I'd probably be rich and can actually afford college. So, yeah. Ohio the Anime is a complete joke, guys. If you are following their account, please unfollow them. Honestly, Ohio the Anime is just a waste of time. Anyways, thank you all for watching my little exposing video on Ohio the Anime. It's a complete joke. It's not going to happen. And when I exposed them for shit, they went down the drain. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be um, posting some really high quality content coming out in the future. So if you would like to see some more of that, go ahead and join. And yeah. Thank you all for watching. Do have yourselves a lovely rest of your day. See you all in the next video. Hey, Nova Country, signing off.